After spending a year away from the team, the Buffalo Bills re-signed a familiar face. Welcome to Believers Talk. My name is Joe and welcome to another free agency edition of Believers Talk where we take a look at all of the Buffalo Bills free agent signings here in 2020 and ask ourselves, is this a good fit for the Buffalo Bills and what does this mean for the Buffalo Bills moving forward, not only in free agency, but also leading into the NFL draft? Again, guys, thank you for joining me. My name is Joe. If you are new to this channel and you haven't quite yet hit that subscribe button, I don't know what you are waiting for, but go ahead, hit that subscribe button. After you hit that subscribe button, you want to hit that notification bell. Notifies you when we post new content. And remember, guys, we are going to do a player profile on every single Buffalo Bills free agent pick. So make sure you hit that thumbs up button you like this video and leave a comment let me know what you think about the buffalo bills re-signing running back taewon jones now he wasn't with the bills last season but he did spend 2017 and 2018 with the buffalo bills and we'll get into that a little bit in this episode but we are going to talk about taewon jones and we want to start with just his measurables taewon jones running back is six foot 190 five pounds he played his college football at east washington university and he's been in the league now since uh, i believe it's 2011 was a was a fourth round draft pick by the oakland raiders in the 2011 nfl draft signed a one-year deal today with the buffalo bills he spent the first six years of his career playing with the oakland raiders the team that drafted him in the first round and then he spent two years in buffalo spent the 2017 and 2018 seasons with the buffalo bills and then last year after being with buffalo bills he signs a one-year contract with the houston texans many bills fans have a memory of taewon jones that they want to forget about that happened just a little over two months ago seems like it was a lot longer than that but just two months ago uh, and we'll get into that in just a little bit in 2019, Taewon Jones played in 11 games, had only nine rushes for 40 yards total. That's 4.4 yards per carry. Taewon Jones hasn't been no much to carry the football as a running back, more of a special teams specialist than he is a running back in the NFL. There have only been two seasons where he's had more than 15 carries. He's had 16 carries twice in his career, once in 2011, once in 2015 both with the Oakland Raiders. So when you look at those stats, you, you realize that he is a special teams guy. In fact, in his first two seasons with the Buffalo Bills in 2017 and 2018, he actually did not have a single rushing attempt for the Buffalo Bills. Played in 14 games for the Buffalo Bills in two seasons, not a single rushing attempt. He did a few catches out of the backfield, but again, mostly known for his special teams game. Of course, in his career, he's had played in 91 games. Out of those 91 games, to reiterate the fact, he's only had 53 rushes, 223 yards, that's 4.2 yards per carry, 19 receptions in his career for 260 yards and one touchdown. But like I said, Taewon Jones is a special teams guy. So when you look at the Buffalo Bills, still adding more depth at that special teams position, giving you another running back. Again, I think probably to compete with a Sonoris Perry type figure. So you're not sure if Taewon Jones is going to make this 53 or 55 man roster. And Sonoris Perry got the same questions. Will he make this roster? And if either one of them do, you know it's going to be mainly for their special teams expertise. Again, two guys who can really get the job done at special teams, both Sonoris Perry and Taewon Jones. So again, Taewon Jones, a special teams guy in his career, has 62 special teams tackles, and he also has 82 kickoff returns in his career as well. So a guy that mostly spends his time on the special teams. Again, like I said, seeing, seeing uh, Taewon Jones fighting with Sonoris Perry for a roster spot, possibly for the Buffalo Bills in 2020. If you ask me about Taewon Jones, I have two distinct memories of Taewon Jones. The first one is part of the thumbnail that I have for this video was in 2018 in the third quarter against the LA Chargers. The LA Chargers punt the ball and the Bills punt return and fumbles it. So Norris Perry 
finds the ball in the end zone, picks it up, tries to run out of the end zone because I'm pretty sure he wasn't sure if it was going to be a safety or if he could have a touchback there. While he's trying to run the ball out, get out of the grips of LA Chargers players who are rushing down to get him, he loses his helmet. Some would say that uh, the helmet got thrown off him by a Chargers player. I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure that I live streamed this game and I was not too happy when this occurred. And then as he turns around, he takes a helmet right to the head. I don't blame the guy, the player, who hit him in the head with the helmet. He's still finishing the play. He didn't know Sonos Perry was going to turn around like that and duck his head. He didn't know that the Chargers teammate was going to rip his helmet off. But you see what happened in the thumbnail. Obviously, Taewon Jones is laying on the ground and he has blood gushing from his forehead. Needed quite a few stitches to stitch it shut. But man, he, he shows that he is a gamer. Put the bandana on the next week. He was ready to go for the Buffalo Bills. So that's my first memory of Taewon Jones. My next memory, not as fun if you're a Buffalo Bills fan in 2020, just this season in January in the Bills game versus the Houston Texans with about five minutes to go in overtime. You have Matt Milano, I believe it was Levi Wallace, getting ready to both sack Deshaun Watson. They collide right at Deshaun Watson. He's able to get away, find a wide open Taewon Jones who takes the ball about 30 yards to get the Houston Texans an easy game-winning field goal range. And the Houston Texans, of course, hit that field goal and send the Buffalo Bills packing where they go on to play the Kansas City Chiefs in the divisional round. So we have two memories, distinct memories of Taewon Jones. One, if you're a Bills fan, you love hearing about it. Two, the second one, you're like, uh, we can forget about that. We don't mind forgetting about that one. But he's back now with the Buffalo Bills. And we have to ask ourselves, was this a good signing by the Buffalo Bills? Well, it's a one-year deal. We know that. However, again, we don't know the contract details. I would be surprised if this is more than a you know $1, $2 million deal, somewhere in that range. You're talking about a guy, again, drafted in 2011, so he's getting up there in age. I believe that he will be 32 at the start of the 2020 NFL season. Just looking at my notes, he will be 32 at the start of the 2020 NFL season. So you know what they say about running backs when they hit that 30 number. <clears throat> begin to decline. But you're also talking about a guy who in 91 career games only has 53 rush attempts, right? So you're talking about a guy who has well-rested legs. He's a great special teams guy, and I love having him on here for that. Might even fight with like a Patrick DeMarco type when it comes to special teams, uh, who is going to play on the special teams unit. I think this is a good sign for the Buffalo Bills. I feel like special, special teams always gets overlooked, underrated, however you want to say it, when it comes to these free agent signings. In fact, when I went to NFL.com, they didn't even list Taewon Jones as one of the Buffalo Bills free agent signings when, again, you're not going to hear about him come March or April when Buffalo Bills sign him in free agency. But come December, come January, come the playoffs, he might make a bigger impact for this team, might fill a hole if there are injuries down the line, and you want a veteran guy who is going to fill that hole if need be. So, I like this move to sign Taewon Jones. Again, we don't know the contract details as of yet. So that will really determine how much we like this deal. I would be surprised to see Taewon Jones sign for more than a $2 million deal. I feel like that would be a lot of money. But with this new cap space, we've seen players sign for more money than I thought they were going to sign for. So again, Buffalo Bills staying active in free agency. Haven't heard much today, but they do sign uh, Taewon Jones back to the Buffalo Bills. Again, played with the Bills in 2017 in 2018, took a year, went to Houston, and now he's back with the Buffalo Bills. So let me know what you think in the comment section about this signing. Do you like this signing? Did you miss Taewon Jones? Do you like to have him back? So hopefully he can help us be another team this upcoming season in the playoffs. Again, I like the move, but let me know what you think. Again, thank you for joining me on this edition of Believer's Talk. If you haven't already subscribed, hit that subscribe button. I know Taewon Jones isn't that big of a signing, but if you look through yesterday's videos the day before, we have done a video, a player profile on every single Buffalo Bills free agent so far, and we're going to continue to do that throughout free agency heading into the NFL draft. We'll give you draft coverage. I look forward to giving you all this coverage as you know, a lot of people are stuck inside because of the coronavirus. Again, guys, please make sure you're taking care of yourself. Stay safe out there. Be smart. Again, listen to what the CDC is saying. I know that a lot of us, especially if you're my age or younger, you're not too concerned about it. But remember, you can be a carrier, right? You don't have to have symptoms to be a carrier. And that really affects the elderly and those who are uh, maybe health-wise are compromised. So make sure you're being careful. Stay smart out there. And hopefully we can all get back to seeing the sports we love 
again, watching the sports we love. But make sure you continue to tune in to Believers Talk for continuing Buffalo Bills and Buffalo Sports updates. I look forward to talking to you all soon. Until I do, go Bills.